some of our more regular kartu. So here are more examples related to um, applying the integration by parts, the technique of integration by parts in solving the integrals. So the first one is uh, we have this function here, uh, e to the power of x, x squared dx. So, um, so we have this function and our job is to choose uh, what is u and what is dv. So we're going to choose a simple one. Um, so here in this case, I think the simple one is to choose u is equal to x squared and therefore um, u is equal to x squared and I'm going to choose dv to be e to the power of x dx. So based on that, I know that du dx is going to be equal to 2x. And for this one, uh, if, we, if you integrate um, dv, you find this one. So dv is ex dx. Therefore, v is going to be, when you integrate ex, the integral of this, uh, you get back ex e to the power of x. Okay, so once you have managed to find u, du, dv, and v, um, we are going to uh, proceed with finding the integral uh, given here. So, so this one, so this one becomes u v. So u is x squared. So x squared. V is e to the power of x minus v du so v is this one and du is um, 2x dx okay so based on this uh, we have not yet solved this equation this problem here so we need to do the integration by part one more time in order to solve this part so this becomes x squared e to the power of x minus now we're going to apply again uh, the integration by parts so in this case um, this is my u so u is equal to 2x du dx is equal to 2 therefore du is equal to 2 dx uh, and next dv is this guy here which is ex dx therefore v is you integrate you find the integral of this and the result is going to be e to the power of x so we are going to apply in the formula the formula is vu minus the integral of v du and in this case v is um, uv so v is e to the power of x u is 2x so this is u minus v du which is e to the power of x and du is 2dx okay right so this is the second time you are applying the integration by parts. Next, we are just going to continue x squared e to the power of x. And over here, I will have negative e x and 2x plus e x to dx. Okay. So, um, what we can do next is we're just going to write this x squared e x minus um, 2x e to the power of x plus taking out the constant here e x dx and that is just equal to um, 2 e x plus c1 i'm calling it c1 
and then that can be simplified as x squared e x minus 2x e to the power of x plus 2 e to the power of x plus 2 c1 and I can call this as x squared e x minus 2x e x plus 2 e x this one I will just name it as constant c so that's the answer to the first question okay right now let's continue to solve the last question so I'm gonna erase all ink on the slide here okay so so let's choose perhaps uh, this one as u and this could be our dv okay so therefore u is equal to x if you uh, differentiate u with respect to x you will get the same thing which is e to the power of x and therefore du is just e to the power of x dx so this is the first um, this is the results that you are going to use next uh, dv is sine x dx therefore v is going to be if you int uh, integrate sine x dx uh, you will get negative cosine of x so v is negative cosine of x All right. Uh, so uh, we are going to apply the formula, the integration by parts. Therefore, this one here will be equal to u v v du. So u is e to the power of x. V is negative cosine of x minus. This is negative cosine of x. So, in, so minus negative cosine of x is going to be positive cosine of x and du is ex dx. So then it becomes negative cos x e to the power of x plus, so this is cos x e to the power of x dx. And this is the result of this one this one so i'm just going to write down here e x sine x dx okay and obviously we are not done yet because there's nothing uh, that can simplify this integral so we need to apply the integration by part one more time okay so we're going to apply integration by parts one more time um So, I'm um, just going to write this in the box here. So, now I'm just going to focus on this part. Okay, I'm just going to focus on this part. So, um, this part is given by this one. Okay, so I'm just going to focus on this. So, here I have uh, e to the power of x cosine of x dx. So I'm going to let u be e to the power of x. So this is the same the same idea that you have seen above. Therefore, we know that du is equal to e to the power of x dx. Next, dv is going to be this one, which is cosine of x dx. Therefore, v is going to be equal to sine x. Okay, now after you have managed to get all these informations in place, we are just going to substitute that accordingly um, using this formula which is uv minus vdu, the integral of vdu. So u is e to the power of x, v is sine x, next minus v is sine x and du is e to the power of x dx. And that becomes e to the power of x sine x minus um, sine x or you can write it in terms of 
um, dx sin x dx so this is the result of of this one here okay so now i'm going to uh, write down everything here um, so now i'm going to combine so i'm going to substitute this result here into this this part so therefore so therefore dx sin x dx is equal to negative cos x e to the power of x plus substitute this then it becomes e x sin x minus e x sin x dx and next i hope you can see that um, we have the same term here and over here so you want to solve for this one okay so now we can let this become the subject so if you want to let this become the subject and if this is like these are common terms so you can add them up so this one can be brought to the left hand side so that becomes um, 2 dx sin x dx okay you brought that to the left hand side so that will become um, this plus this so it becomes 2 of this negative cos x ex plus sin x e to the power of x so therefore this guy here is just so therefore ex the integral of ex sin x dx is just going to be negative cos x dx plus sin x dx over 2 and uh, we're going to add a constant so plus c okay so that's the answer to the, the question here all right i think that's all for now thank you very much for watching